While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. Captain, do you require my assistance? Perhaps we should check in with Matteo or Noel. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Matteo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards. And the implications are... a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the Hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Time in home's cradle's not a bad idea these days. The eyes still got some final sights left. Catch a smile out there. I'm not sure Don't things mind will me. feel safer here later. But we have Lucky I noticed the okay. pattern in one of those artifacts you pulled out. Here. You can feel it, can't you? The lodge just feels empty. I, I thought I had a grip on the situation. I'm not so sure anymore. 
the sanctum universe and believes that God wanted us to travel the stars. That's gotten us here. Is this... Could this be the next step in that journey? Is this what we were meant to learn out here? Could the unity... Could that be God? Or a, a way to reach him? After everything we've discovered, everything we've been through, everything we've lost, I can't help but wonder where this all leads. It's all gotta mean something. The one thing I'm sure of is that we have to see this through. We need to find the rest of the artifacts. No more Starborn have shown up. Yet. It's silly, but I can't stop thinking about the idea that there are more of me out there. Even just one more Noel is crazy to consider, but dozens, hundreds, an infinite number of them? How different might they, might we all be? Am I not even remotely the unique individual I thought I was? My head is spinning just considering it. Well, I'm glad you seem so certain of that. I'll admit, I'm not that sure. At all. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. You've got something for me?
I picked up something you might be interested in. It's good to be on the bar. Mars gets stuffy sometimes. Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Shortly after I evacuated, I saw the ship come apart. The UC listed it as lost, so I assume the Dauntless was completely destroyed. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely, or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. Don't worry, it's not as though I'm coming apart at the seams. It's the conversations we've been having. They dredged up these old memories and they're... a burden. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Unless you want to search every square kilometer of Cassiopeia 1, that's our only option. If we want the information, I'll just have to put my anger aside. I can do that, you know. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. That's why I'm desperate for your help. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to hold me together. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me... <laughs> I'll never understand. Oh, 
I feel the same way about you. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Yes, you need me? If you are free soon... You time for a quick chat? We should Could have I a talk, it when, when you have the time, of course. Got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, 